So what's up guys, it's JT and uh, the channel is back. I'm gonna be making new videos. Uh, there's been a nine month hiatus. And so, you know, what happened is I wasn't sure if the network was gonna pick the program back up. Uh, the executives gave us a real hard time, um, but thanks to an outcrying of support from you guys, uh, we got renewed for another season. It's gonna be awesome. And so for this video, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna address a question that a subscriber had on YouTube. And uh, he specifically said he is a former bodybuilder and he's now on beta blockers, which are a prescription medication uh, that your doctor can prescribe to you uh, to help address hypertension, high blood pressure, some other cardiac disorders. And these particular types of drugs, um, what they do is they block beta adrenergic receptors and they have a down regulatory effect on metabolic rate. And it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 calories uh, per day that your thermogenesis is blunted essentially. So your base metabolic rate goes down because of these medications. Uh, and, and that's a significant amount. Um, maybe it doesn't sound like a lot, um, but when you think about it, that's the amount of calories that someone's generally going to burn in an hour of, of weight training. Um, that's the number of calories that someone's going to burn at, at a moderate jog for 30 to 40 minutes. So someone like this individual who maybe was physically active in the past and was maintaining their weight well, uh, goes on this medication and now they have this 350 calorie per day swing and all of a sudden it, the same activity that was keeping them weight stable before is no longer doing so and they begin to gain weight. And in addition to the redu reduced, um, reduced energy expenditure uh, that you have because these medications, there's also impaired aerobic capacity because of these medications. So now uh, the same exercise, the same training that you used to do maybe is perceived as being a little bit harder or, or is actually a little bit harder for you to perform. And so maybe it's a little more difficult to exercise. Now, there are actually studies looking specifically at patients on beta blockers versus a control group. Uh, and, and there's actually newer types of beta blockers called generation three beta blockers. And studies have looked at actually all three of these. And the good news is that patients um, in each group were able to successfully lose weight. Uh, but interestingly, the generation three beta blocker group lost the most weight, even over controls that weren't taking any type of medication. Uh, so if you're watching this video and you have been prescribed beta blockers and they are causing it, uh, causing a difficulty for you with weight loss, you might talk to your doctor about generation three beta blockers uh, and see if that's an option for you. Um, I wanna stress, this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor, although I did play one once on General Hospital circa 2016. Um, but, but that's besides the point. Uh, I'm not a doctor in real life and you definitely wanna make sure that you speak to your physician. Um, but that's something you can look at. Generation three beta blockers may actually have an effect that makes weight loss even easier for you by a little bit uh, over not being on any medication at all. Uh, I also think it's important to mention that oftentimes these medications are prescribed to people not, not as a singular medication, but in combination with other medications that could have a cumulative effect, making weight loss even harder, blunting metabolic rate even more. And so, um, but if we're aware of this, then what you can do and what was shown in the studies that I referenced earlier, which I will link below in, in the notes of this video, you can increase your caloric expenditure through physical activity one of the things that blunting beta adrenergic activity does is it makes you less physically active in general. You have less energy, maybe you feel a little more lethargic, uh, not quite as energetic as before. So you're gonna fidget less. Your non-exercise activity thermogenesis is probably gonna go down, which is a part of that reduction in energy expenditure because of these medications. So you can make it a point. I don't know if you gotta set alarms on your phone or, or work out some kind of routine, which can I admittedly can be difficult because your energy levels may be lower than normal because of the medication, um, but insert physical activity throughout your day. And that can look like saying, okay, I'm gonna take 10 minute brisk walks after each meal. I eat three, four times a day. That's gonna be you know, 40 minutes of, of walking after meals. Um, I know that may not be easy for everybody to, to um, facilitate, but it's something that you can do. Uh, you can make a conscious point to fidget, um, bounce your feet. I know it sounds funny, I know it sounds stupid, but studies consistently show that people who are fidgeters have a higher metabolic rate than people who are not. And it's probably because higher, or at least partly because of higher um, beta adrenergic activity, um, which again is blinded by these medications. So 
uh, that's something you can do. Of course, you can insert some additional exercise uh, to help with energy expenditure. But I think it's also important to note that over time, uh, as evidenced by Herman Poncher's work uh, on constrained energy expenditure, the amount of calories that we expend during an activity when we start that activity over time uh, appears to go down. So if you start doing some additional activity, you're burning those 350, 400 calories through physical activity, in six months, that same physical activity, when you extrapolate your energy expenditure over a 24 hour period, is probably no longer 350 or 450 calories, meaning you have to raise your energy expenditure even more. And so the easiest way to curb this is to be extra careful with your diet. And that's because the most effective way to lose weight um, is through dietary control as opposed to physical activity. Um, by all means, do both. But unfortunately, if you're on beta blockers, then tighter dietary control, being much more mindful of what you eat, and, and realizing that the way you ate before going on this medication, you may not be able to eat that exact same way post um, going on this medication. So definitely, I think addressing diet is going to be the most effective way. And then after that, um, you know, adding non-exercise activity and then additional exercise uh, if and where you can. Um, and, and the thing is, if you also happen to have obesity or insulin resistance or, or these, other, um, these other comorbidities, these, it's already harder for you to lose weight, right? You're, um, you're already facing an uphill battle versus somebody that just needs to lose a few pounds who's, who's metabolically healthy and doesn't have an impaired metabolism. And then you add these medications and, and it compounds and it can make things even harder. So I definitely 100% identify with people who are struggling, who, who are dealing with obesity, who have a high BMI um, and are trying to lose weight because it 100%, it's harder for you than it is for somebody that's not in that same position. Um, but I think the most important thing is that, and, and there's plenty of studies that show this, you, you can lose weight, it can be done, um, but yeah, it, it's hard. Um, and I feel, feel, feel for everybody out there who, who you know, struggles because um, it can be demoralizing. I, I was obese once, I had a 35 BMI, um, I'm not that tall of a guy, and I weighed like 212 pounds, 38 inch waist. So, so yeah, I've been there myself, it took years. Um, it wasn't easy, I, 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 the struggle is real, I know that. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video and I'm gonna try to look through my YouTube comments and so if you guys have specific questions like this that you would like to ask and you want me to answer, um, by all means, go ahead and reach out. I'll select them. Um, I plan to be a lot more active going forward. Uh, so hopefully I can help more people and be a net positive for you guys. Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.